Hi. This is a combination of a limiting reagent problem and a percent yield problem. It's number 20 in the workbook from unit five. And uh, we're gonna try this one now. So we can see the reaction is given and it's balanced. We're given the amount of the nickel four sulfide, the oxygen, and the nickel two oxide that results. So we were asked to determine the limiting reagent and calculate the theoretical yield of the nickel two oxide, and then to determine the percent yield for the reaction. <clears throat> I've gotten a little bit of a head start. I wrote out the equation again and I put my information underneath. I put the masses of each reactant and the product underneath uh, the appropriate place. Then I worked out the molar masses using my periodic table before I started the recording. So these were not provided in the question, so I had to work them out. Now my first step is going to be to calculate the number of moles of each of the starting materials. So the number of moles of nickel four sulfide will be mass over molar mass, 11.2 grams divided by 122.8234 grams per mole. And the number of moles of oxygen, similarly, mass over molar mass. And for this material, it's 5.43 grams divided by 31.988. Sorry, that would be 9988. Important to check as you're doing this. Grams per mole. So we have 11.2 divided by 122.8234. So 0 0.0912 to 3 sig figs. Moles. So the next thing is to figure out how many moles of our target, our nickel two oxide, we can make from this reactant. So the number of moles of NiO is the number of moles of NiS2 times the mole ratio required over given 2 over 2. So 0 0.0912 moles, no change. And then <clears throat> we're going to try something a little bit different from the last video. I'm not going to uh, convert this to a mash yet. We'll see which one we need to work to completion. It'll save us a little bit of time. So over here we have 5.43 divided by 31.9988. 0 0.1700. And then the number of moles of NiO that we can make from this will be the number of moles of O2 times the mole ratio for this substance. So required over given, two over five. So 0 0.170 moles 
times 2 over 5 equals. It's still on my screen, so times 2 divided by 5. And that is the 3 sig fig 0 0.67, 0 0.0679. <clears throat> So what we've done here is just saved ourselves a bit of work. We did not need to work this one through to the end because as you can see, there are fewer moles of nickel two oxide predicted from the second reactant. So this is the one that we're going to run out of first and it will stop the reaction. This is our limiting reagent. I can work this through to completion now. The mass of NiO will be the number of moles times molar mass, 0 0.0679 moles times the molar mass, 74.6928 grams per mole. So I have that on my screen times 74.6928 grams now if we uh, go back and check our question again. When 11.2 grams of nickel 4 sulfide react with 5.43 grams of oxygen, 4.86 grams of nickel 2 oxide are obtained. Determine the limiting reagent. So we've done that. The theoretical yield, which we did, and now we just need to do the percent yield for the reaction. So the theoretical yield is 5.07 grams. And we know that we actually only get 4.86 grams. So one more step. So percent yield. is the actual yield over the theoretical yield and times 100%. So 4.86 grams divided by 5.07 grams and times 100%. <clears throat> this number should still be on my screen, and it is, so all I have to enter is 4.86 divided by <clears throat> last answer and times 100. So 95.9% yield. Okay, so there it is, 95.9% yield. The limiting reagent is the oxygen, and the theoretical yield is 5.07 grams. <clears throat>